What's the um, biggest misconception about the band that you would like to clear up? I think that the, the reason people are unsure of where we're from is that we really resisted being from anywhere for a long time because it always bothered me. The first thing people would ask when you say you're a musician is where are you from? Which now, to my dismay, I realize I do all the time. And people are just trying to put you in some sort of category. But I was always like, why? Why, man? What does it tell you if I'm from Toronto or if I'm from Los Angeles so, or New York? And so we... Uh, because of the band's nomadic nature, we're from a lot of places. But yes, misconceptions we would like to clear up. We are not from Montreal, I guess. I, it always freaks me out if people think that like I'm some kind of puppet in the band. Like sometimes, I, you know, I'm not big on reading up on what people say about us because I figure that's not really meant for me. It's meant for other people. But uh, sometimes I get this like kind of tone that's just like, okay, wait a minute. You don't actually think that like you know, these guys are writing words for me, do you? Or, you know, that I'm I've, like... I've never heard that. Yeah, I've read a couple things. It was in Europe. But it's just, sometimes I get this flash of like, or when I see some of the more depressing, like prefab things that happen in music where I'm, I see like, you know, some girl kind of like pushed out in front of some indie scruffy looking guys that they've rounded up from the studio musicians in the neighborhood. I'm just, sometimes get this pang of like, oh man, I hope... I hope that I'm representing who I actually am and not just looking like or or falling into a a category of like chicks, you know, chicks with microphones. Um, but those are those dark moments. I usually just try to f brush away. And generally, I feel like we are what you see. So I don't think there are a lot of misconceptions at all. But Jimmy and Josh are not brothers and we're not from Montreal. But I do love it in Montreal. And Metric is in its 12th year. In that span of time, we've seen you go from the intimate clubs to opening for the Rolling Stones. What's been the biggest career highlights thus far? People ask like that, the question, what was, is, is there a highlight? Is there a moment that, you know, changed everything or what? I, it's really, really hard for me to define that. It's really hard for me to pinpoint a moment that was actually like my favorite moment. Uh, you yeah, know. it's funny, especially I feel like because, you know, without being too philosophical about it, I feel like what I've narrowed down for myself is the only thing your life is, is a story. That's pretty much all I can boil it down to. And so being in metric, it's like, I love the story. I love that, you know, people saw us at the Silver Lake Lounge and then they get to sort of, as we grow, be like, you know, feel kind of like, wow, well done. And like check their life and check their pro their uh, progress as a person. And like, I don't know, it's, it's cool. And, uh, but I, I really resist um, ever having it be like you've arrived. And I actually, I had dinner with Anna Kendrick last night, who I, she's awesome. And we were talking about that of like, people who always try to say to you, like, enjoy the moment, like, enjoy it while it lasts. Like, with this sort of, you know, underhanded, you can't really tell if they're, they're saying like, there's no way it'll, it'll keep going, or they're trying to force it to be like your peak. And I think, you know, the reason I'm hesitant to be like, that was the the moment, the crowning moment, is because I would hope that it doesn't come until, you know, right or, before I die. Yeah. Or it doesn't at all. <laughs> or it doesn't at all. I mean, the great thing about music is you'll never master it, so you can just keep going forever. It's the perfect carrot dangle in front of the perfectionist, because you'll never, ever, ever get there. And lastly, um, creatively, what can we look forward to next from the band? I mean, I mean, we're we're right now at the beginning process of starting the next record, and we've been writing a little bit, but not we haven't done a lot yet because we just haven't had a lot of time yet. Um, and it's there's always the like, you know, uh, it kind of gets to the the for me right at the beginning of the process is like for every day that you make music or start writing and start the process, there's like three days of like conceptualizing of what it could be. And then I find that the older that I get, the three days become more and more and more useless. And you have no idea what you're going to do until you do it. And it really doesn't matter what you think is going to happen or what you conceptualize as to be your future and the reality of what you're trying to do. You just do it and you do it and you do it and you do it. And hopefully you start to really, really love what you do. And I, I, I find for me, the less I actually start thinking about it and the more you just make music, the, the better it, it turns out. So what we're going to do next is work. Yeah, I feel the same way. Just like the same way that when I look at the calendar, even when I look back, but look, when I look forward and I see what I have to do, it's just like, how is that humanly possible? Like, how can you fly 
five flights in one week? And how can you wear the, where are the hours and where is the human being in there? And then once I'm, when I'm doing it, somehow it all, it all works. It's kind of the same approach. It's like if the last thing, you know, this interview notwithstanding that I want to do before making the next record is like have big analytical conversations about what, what is it going to be? You know, it's like, it's going to be a certain amount of time with us in a room and what we come up with and, and deem to be the best thing we can come up with is what it's going to be. So you just, it's just forward nose down, you know? Yeah. There's always some two or two in the morning conversation. Of, we got to make our dark side of the moon, man. <laughs> and then you just wake up and you go to work. Thanks guys for coming in.